and Doofus. Chico and Rufus here today. And Rufus is napping as usual. He's on his favorite little bed. And he's just happy as can be. He's happy as a clam. And what's up with me? What's my project for today? Well, before I get into my project for today, let me tell you a little story. Um, I had ordered two, well, actually one item from Amazon.com, and I also needed to get my mail from the escapees. So I called up the Sierra Vista Elks Lodge. Rufus stopped that. And I asked them if they could get take some mail for me in care of the Elks Lodge. They said, sure, no problem. So I used that address, and uh, everything was fine. You know, it was on its way, and I was tracking the package. And all of a sudden, it said, delivered, or not delivered, but attempted delivery. That's a whole different ballgame than uh, delivered. So, uh, business closed. That was the reason. So, the Elks Lodge doesn't open until 2. The mail comes before that, and I guess they don't have a mailbox or something. So, in any case, I, I hightail it to the nearest post office, thinking that probably where it went. And I... Um, talked to the postmaster and he said he needed the uh, tracking numbers and I'm like uh oh and then I remembered that the smartphone gets the email with the tracking number so I gave him the two tracking numbers and he went back there for about 10 minutes and then uh, came forward and said I've got uh, another gentleman looking at it but I think they may have gone on the truck on their way back and I'm like oh no you know started to panic so he you know the guy didn't come back from the back so I'm thinking well if he's taking that long maybe I'll have good news sure as heck about 45 minutes later, the guy come out and he had my two packages, big smile on my face, which put a big smile on my face. And uh, that was it. So that's my mail story. So what did I order from Amazon? I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but the grab handle coming into the RV, the uh, plexiglass one, um, was damaged when I got the RV. And it since has gotten uh, much worse to the point where it's, it's dangerous. So I was lucky enough to uh, find one on Amazon at a reasonable price. This one has an LED in it, so that'll be good. And um, I just wanted to show it to you guys. So this is the part on my RV that, that broke. It's uh, like a plexiglass kind of grab handle. And um, they also sent a lot. This is a good little deal here, and I think it's pretty universal. But here's the part that goes on top, I guess. You know, we'll, we'll get there. Mounts to the rig. Looks exactly like the one that's on there. And this one has some wires in there. And there's a little LED light in there. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. Because I never even knew the other one lit up. But I'll bet you there's some power wires back there. So that's the top part. And then they gave us a gasket that should fit nicely. It looks like it was made for it. For the, for the one part and another gasket. And let me see here. They also gave us uh, a set of screws to replace the new screws. And they also gave us the other part of the grab bar, which is kind of handsome looking. It's all chrome. Um, haven't even opened it, so you guys are going to see it with me. Yeah, I'm always like that. I like to get you. You know, I like to show it to you fresh, not tampered with. And that's what that's going to look like. So let's see if we can put this together kind of haphazardly. Something like that. Whoop, I don't want to go in there with this. Okay, something like that. And then this baby here goes on top and mounts to the RV. So we now have a nice new... Uh, well lit grab handle I think when I say well lit depends if there's wires back there so that's it um, enough of showing you the package let's get out there and do something right it don't get done yapping about it see you in a little bit well there's the, the old one and as you can see it's pretty well shot it's got two screws on top and looks to be like three on the bottom Shouldn't be much of a big deal, but you know how that goes. The only thing missing is the thing that says Damon Intruder on it. So, um, yeah, we're going to replace that. As you can see, it's busted. Not very good. Pretty, uh, pretty hazardous, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let me shut up and get to work. Okay, well, there's the bottom part with the piece removed and the gasket removed. And I left that one up there to show you the incandescent bulb and the fixture that's there and we're going to be replacing that it looks like that bulb is dead so let's get to it 
Well, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, like everything else in this coach. Look at that. They didn't leave enough wire to do anything with. So I got to deal with that now, trying to make a connection. Really, really stupid. Okay, guys. There's the uh, new grip handle installed. And uh, it's really not too bad of a job, except for the fact that the wires for the light are not long enough to work with. It was very difficult to get a good splice and I think I did. I'm not even sure if that circuit works because it's never worked before. So if there is a switch I don't know where it is. I have a feeling it might be hooked up to the courtesy light. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe but above all don't forget to be happy. Take care. Bye bye.